Hey guys, Mac here. We are at the Four Wheel Campers headquarters and showroom here in Woodland, California. And we thought that this would be a great opportunity to show you all sorts of different floor plans and options available in various four wheel camper models. So without further ado, I think we should just dive in. First up on our tour, we're gonna start with this Hawk Slide-In Woolrich Edition, which has an incredible interior. Let's head in. Welcome inside. With the Woolrich Edition, you get a lot of really beautiful trim features. So you get all Woolrich wool upholstery, as well as uh, the darker cabinet interior, which I really love. I tried very hard to convince Owen of this interior. I just think it's really beautiful, very tasteful. In this particular floor plan, it is the front dinette, which means that this little dinette area is closest to the cab um, and the other bed, which is over the cab. This area also becomes a bed, and in this particular one, it also becomes a shower much like our own. Something else to note about the dinette area is that underneath each of these seats is additional storage good for any gear um, that you need stashed out of the way. Starting on the driver's side of the camper is the kitchen area. We have a additional option, which is the flush mounted sink and two burner propane stove. Um, and then coming down, there's a ton of storage as well as this is gonna be your furnace. A lot of your controls for your heat, your hot water heater, lots of plugs for power, battery and water monitor, and all of these switches operate exterior lighting, but tons and tons of storage. On the passenger side of this camper, we have a refrigerator and more storage. My favorite one is actually this top one. one. Uh, if we were gonna be living out of this one, I would probably assume that we would put our clothes in here. It's nice and deep, as well as lots of front loading storage all the way down this side. Now we're gonna head into a Hawk flatbed, which is the same thing that we have. They all have the same floor plan, but as you can see, the trim can be very different. So let's go check it out. Just inside this door, which is the side entry, passenger side, uh, the first major difference between ours and this one is this cabinet right here. For ours, it's all storage, but in this one, it is a cassette toilet. So here you have the option of a bathroom. In ours, we have a litter box and a spice cabinet. Moving towards the front of the vehicle or the camper, uh, this cabinet has your battery storage and some power management systems. And then up here is the bed. The great thing about the beds on these is they can pull out. I think this one can be a king. That is a massive bed. And then slip back into place when you don't need it. And then underneath the bed, that is a lot of storage. So all of this is stashed away, out of the way, underneath the bed, anytime it is not in use. This camper has the silver spur interior, which gives you the gray flat siding and the front of the cabinets, as well as the darker countertop. Uh, this one has the flush mounted sink and two burner propane stove, as well as a heater, hot water heater, and this is the medium sized refrigerator. By not getting the largest size refrigerator, you still get a storage cabinet or storage drawer down below the refrigerator. Facing the back of the camper, this is the rear dinette. Uh, it also becomes a bed. In ours, the floor also becomes a shower, but in this one is additional storage. I've heard of people using this storage for shoes, wine, all sorts of fun stuff like that. Underneath each of these seats in the rear dinette is all storage that goes all the way to the bottom of the flatbed. That is a pretty immense amount. And over here by the door is more plugs. Uh, these are hot when plugged into shore power and these are on all of the time, as well as some switches for any exterior lighting. This is another Hawk slide-in, and it has the side dinette, which makes a pretty big impact to the overall floor plan. 
So welcome inside. Uh, we're gonna start with the largest of the interior differences, which is the side dinette. There's a lot actually that I really love about this setup and the major one is this massive window. It brings in a ton of great exterior light. This also becomes a bed in addition to being your dinette. This also has some really great storage. I really love this and wish that it could be inside of ours, but I just don't know where it would go. Um, up above the window. And there's also this great little stand-up cabinet for small essentials. If I lived in here, this would be full of hot sauce. Much like all four-wheel campers, this bed can extend by sliding out. But one of the major differences between the flatbed and the slide-in, other than the fact that one's a flatbed and the other one's a slide-in, is that there are no underbed storage options for the slide-ins. On the kitchen side, again, on the driver's side of the camper, we have our flush-mounted sink and two-burner stove, as well as more auxiliary plugs, your furnace, in addition to plenty of extra storage. Back here, closer to the cab, there's the furnace uh, thermostat, as well as your battery and water tank monitor and your hot water heater. And underneath this kitchen, as well as all of the other seats in here, uh, is additional storage. This one and the one that I'm currently sitting on are shallow, but that would be great for maps, books, guides, all sorts of things that we inevitably hold on to. Right here inside the door, you have access to this very massive refrigerator, which also has a freezer in it, much like some of the other ones that we've already looked at, as well as your exterior switches for lighting. And this handy little cubby right inside the door, right behind the side dinette is a little porta potty. So cute. That completes our tour of a few of the different floor plans available in the Hawk four wheel campers, both flatbed and slide in. If you guys are curious what it was that I was referring to as far as our own camper is concerned, we'll link that video in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you down the road.